Oh. Oh. That's a, that's a fat win right, right now. All right, Brewmaster is apparently broken at the moment. Let's play him. My win rate on the hero tends to be not very good, but I feel like I'm good at the hero. So I don't know if it's Dun and Kruger or I just like don't group for team fights and push advantage as well and the hero falls off, but but I do feel competent at the hero. So as long as I don't die to like the burst of like Shackle, Nyx stun, um, slash Centaur stun this burst, then I should be able to... In the back. Kill them and be rewarded. Prepare for battle. Should be able to be fine. In the bag. It is in the bag. Is this mid Wind Ranger probably? Probably Wind Ranger. I can beat her, I just summon any drunken brawler and miss chance. My friends, this one is in the bag. Um, probably gonna go like. Is this me or does my AM model look really big? Thirty seconds to battle. I think it's just the colors around your weapons that make it surface area bigger. Just a bit. Get bot two. If we can. Time to brawl. Yes. That was unfortunate. In a straight line. Deny. Definitely lost the experience on that too, so I'm gonna have a level disadvantage. I'm a beat in my smashed on last hits, but it's okay. Radiance 
courier has been killed. Still there? Attack! For Yoi and Oyo. And the tango. Eater on that one, huh? Hi, Tingle. Oh, you're not wearing your uh, cone. Hmm. She ran away. still go earn though, I feel like. Shit's too good not to get. Got a javelin. Um, let's be really careful. He's got six be before me, which means I am definitely killable. Drum resist, not good. Evasion is better. There's one more creep to hit six, then I can't die. Back to then I can kill. I've gotten it. The level up. Got this extra armor too, which helps. My hunch is that he. Oh, he does not have a ward. Also doesn't have boots. Hold my way. Makes his life a lot harder. Meet your turn. For Yoi and Oyo. There's basically like no way that he kills me. I think there's like every way that I kill him. So this feels pretty sick for me right now. You can't one run away from me, I can dispel it. I've got tons of solo kill damage. I see, he is ganked. This reminds me of the last time I played One Ranger Mode. Just felt really bad. I think I go this. Usually I end up maxing out other things first. I usually max out this first to get the cooldown lower, but I feel like with mid, it's better just to be able to push. See a dive top from the imminent form. I 
hay string is very good. Unfortunately, I didn't get the urn, but it's okay. I haven't earned this very doable. Kind of a waste of my haste here. Focus fire. I have a split if you want to nuke him. Anything? booster first I think guess he is piercing my evasion with the javelin which is a nice counter it's a little hairy going after the wind ranger but you can catch up with the wind panda usually just means my damage is a lot more limited as all play behind me. Does CM have Tranquils? She did not actually. CM's very killable. They're gonna try and me mid. Buy another TP scroll. Yeah, Urn is just really good on this hero because it just allows you to land the Cinder Grim. It's 500 damage. 500 magic damage, just an incredible amount. This guy's got a salve, which doesn't necessarily make it look amazing, but. Just 
just kind of want to lower him. That'll force the salve at least. Let's go play bottom. Should play bot with most of our heroes. Got ulti semi soon. We do not pressure the tower is top. Let's see if I can get like a neutral click. Die, you little bastard. Hell yeah. This three extra strength will change my game. I really wish that I had ran with my squad here. Entry for the next time. Let's see. I'm just gonna not. I'm gonna play it safe. Radiant structures are There's no reason to fuck around here. Dying right here would be really catastrophic.
much more missing than I've got. The enemy's middle tower has fallen. That's close. Um, what sad is this? Absolutely. Oh, my way. That's a lot of crits. Behind them, have one item. I'm a chill. Your middle tower is under attack. Your middle tower is under attack. really good actually so um i could buy buy vlad's i could go like ac as well i almost want to just go ac instead i feel like that'll make me way stronger i do need a cloak though for sure Your top tower is under attack. Just want to increase my survivability. Uh, let's take a small slowdown. Yes. I'll defend the mid tower though.
pay for thy lack. Stomping them all over the map too. In the same place. I mean, I could TP to that, but I also kind of don't want to. The enemy's middle tower has very one sided. We are Omega Onin. Your top tower is under attack. I have an AC. Very good for my homies. Guess I'll just farm right. He's farming right. Guess I farm down. Armor? I don't know if you forgot armor or what, but. A lot of magic, a lot of physical. Doing my own anti -mate. Ah, okay, no problem. You guys can carry the game. Should I pipe or should I blads? The uh, Cinder Brew or not? I can't remember. It's fine though. We're doing good. So, Vlad's is generally good. Armor to me and my team. Life steal. Pipe is pretty sick though. It's gonna help me survive not getting bursted basically. Oh fuck, I didn't even think about neutral items, bro. Can I use the, the Van Brace and you can take a different item? I would really like the magic resistance. I suppose. It's only a brigand's blade, it's not like your choice is terrible. It didn't help that I was on a red at the start too, so I couldn't even like cover myself very well. But since I'm not really doing anything this game, I would let you have it. The spirit moves. Yeah, Roche is definitely a good option. I probably should have been on green actually, is what I should have done. Because of the Wind Ranger and shit. That's what I should have been on actually. It's gonna work way better than Ovation here. Stuck on red too. That did not help. That was throwy. That death was really bad. Difference saying cloak and hood is really like attack. nothing either. Dying Almost need uh, purple instead for status resistance because I'm just dying to stuns. Maybe I just buy that instead and sit on purple in these team fights against Nyx, Wind Ranger, Centaur. I, I tend to micro pretty badly when I do use this one, but... Your middle tower has been denied. We should be fine though, I mean, just... Anti-mage. We got an anti-mage on our team. 
Pipe is pretty sick too, to be honest, though. Lowering that damage could be really good. Just back, just back. I feel like I should just pipe instead would be the safe thing to do. These ways that I'm dying is not really conventional at all. Uh, no, actually, I think I want the resistance. Feels pretty solid actually, the AC on him. Yes. He's mine. Yeah, I'll just get the pipe here and then. Oh, reflect the Omni! Oh my god, run, run. Seven seconds TP from me. Not ready to play that game out. BKB, please. I mean, BKB is okay. If I don't know if that was the item, I think Andis would have been better if I was worried about the chain stun. But Dagon seems good for bursting jug. Nah, Dagon's not the item. Generally, it's better to be able to survive against what jug does offensively and then to kill him afterwards because his offensive also de defends himself. So if I just survive through spin and Omni slash, then the life is where I want want it to be. So, me having pipe to cover my supports, me having AC to cover my allies too, just makes my team much better at fighting because they all have 5 armor and they all have pipe aura, which is 15% resistance. These are the items, this, these are the ways to, to keep your team alive as brew, basically. And Ags gives you farm potential with the red one, it gives you utility with the stun or the blue one for dispel and stuff. But ultimately, that was just kind of a story of Wind Ranger. Like, when you go with that javelin rush I, I literally did the same thing when i last played wind ranger it's like when you go javelin rush and your first gank doesn't work the game feels really bad because you don't have boots you don't have stats so yeah i don't blame the wind ranger the hero just kind of sucks mid i think i don't think it's a very good mid hero they buffed it a little bit maybe there's some like treads build that can work or something but yeah we fucking clap those guys that booty guy again. That's not a smurf. <laughs> Hello, Tingle. I'm gonna I'll pet you. I'm happy to pet you, honey. But you have to get close to me, that's how it works. A lot of them are ancients. Alright, I don't I don't know if the MMR disparity is fucked right now, but it kinda feels fucked right now. MMR balance in that game seemed kind of whack. More pets for the doggy. That uh, seems kind of weird. They really did almost kill me a couple times. Uh, like, they almost killed me a couple times. That would have been really huge, but. Oh, that felt fun. I do like Brewmaster a lot. Just the, the urn makes everything easy. Allows you to approach from range. Force either like a clap or a split. And if they can't kill you and get split off, you get kills. Every ulti should be kills. 
they buffed the Bruling armor now, so it just felt like it was alive all the time, which was nice. I made some mistakes, obviously, but... You think it's a forgettable hero? I don't agree at all. It's really fun. I think it's a great hero design, actually. Like, I, I really... I The change to the passive was amazing. I think it added so much dynamic play to the hero. It's, like, so much more fun. To, I promise you, like, the hero is legitimately really fun to play if you're okay with micro a little bit. There's so many options when you buy Axe. It's like, do I want to hit creeps or split push? Red Brewling. Do I want to initiate or protect myself if I get gone on? Blue creep. If I'm like generic team fighting, green is just solid because it lands, it does stun and I don't have to worry about it dying, which the other two I have to be slightly worried because then it goes on cooldown for 70 seconds. And then pop your ulti for team fight moments. Like the Axe is legitimately a really fun item. As a carry jug, usually end your laning stage with Falcon Blade, Wraith Band, Maelstrom. What are some offensive options? I mean, I don't think Falcon Blade is that common on drug at all. No, I don't think anybody buys Falcon Blade, so you probably shouldn't buy that. Um, obviously, you have some mana needs, but Wand, Clarities, and a neutral item usually will solve that. Um, Wraith Band is fine, though. Maelstrom is fine. More offensive options for next item. Uh, you could go fast Mjolnir if you really want to, but the build on Jug is kind of restricted. I think Manta is actually one of the worst items you can buy in Jug. It's not the worst, it's just a trap. It traps you. Because you think like, oh, this is what I'm going to need. I can split push with it. But it's like your illusions aren't even that good because you have phase, typically. So the Manta build isn't very good. Um, it, it like, with it withdraws you from having some, like, damage item that makes your Omni Slash really good. So I'd rather you have, like, Blink Mjolnir instead or something. Like, that's actually the same cost to go Manta as it is, like, Blink and Mjolnir. Because at least with Blink Mjolnir, you can, like, Blink Omni Slash one guy and probably kill him. Or maybe instead you go Mjolnir plus Basher and then get a shard after or something. It's probably better, I feel like. But Jug's win rate is not great, I believe. They did buff him. I think they buffed his base damage or something. But yeah, like his win rate. It's not good. It's, like, slightly sub 50. His impact is just not very high compared to other heroes. And relying on Blade Fury, like, look at these, like, talents. Everybody gets Blade Fury talents, and the win rates aren't even good. So I think uh, when I played him a couple days ago and I went Blade Dance Life, still it did feel pretty good. But the Blade Fury talent, damage talent is obviously incredibly good. It's a fuckload of spin damage, but... um, Yeah, his talents are kind of boring right now. His item build feels restrictive. Maybe there's some viability in some, like, Battle Fury build, because at least then you farm, like, ultra fast. But, I mean, I think Battle Fury could work, potentially. Honestly. It just comes out a little bit slow compared to Maelstrom, but it would make your laning stage better. Maybe a Battle Fury build is possible, but... I, I actually, you know, it could be good as a Radiance build. Radiance build is, like, a Merlini classic, but it's... It got buffed recently, right? So you'd probably go like Blade Fairy Talents with Radiance. That could work, maybe. And, and just skip the fucking shard. Fuck the shard. Shard's kind of expensive for how good it is right now. You do get bonus move speed from it, I suppose, which is kind of good. I don't, maybe the shard is still good, but you could go a Radiance build, maybe. I wouldn't go E-Blade. That's not good, I don't think. Because the E-Blade doesn't... Why would you go E-Blade? It's not good with your Omni Slash. It literally stops you from attacking them. Like, yeah, you could nuke people with it, but, like, that ain't good. So, I, I could see a Radiance build working on Drug. Go Radiance. and the, It's a little bit slow compared to Maelstrom, but once you get it, like, your team fight is going to be really, really good. How's current Kunko played? Is a position one stay relevant? One or two? Um, Yeah, the hero had some... The, part of the, I feel like the X combo on Kunko just doesn't feel good right now. That's part of the problem for sure. It just don't feel good. Let's see if Moxie wants to play. <laughs> 